What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're gonna to be talking about security roles inside the Power BI service. Now there's four different roles that you can be a part of. You can be an admin, you could be a member, a contributor, or a viewer inside of the Power BI service. So we're gonna look at some of the different characteristics involved with those different roles and how they play a part in our question here today. So let's go ahead and get started. So as we look at the different roles here at the top, so you can see that we have the four roles, the admin, the member, the contributor, and the viewer role. And so the admin being the most privileged with the ability to um, update and delete the workspace. One of the main differences between an admin and a member are these top three right here. And so you'll see that the main difference between admin and a member is the ability to update or delete the workspace, add and remove the user in a workspace, and allow contributors to update the app for the workspace. And so that's the main difference between an admin role and a member role. So members can do everything that admin can do except for these three things at the top. And so as we move down to the contributor role, the contributor role has less abilities than the member role. One of the main differences is the ability to add members or other with lower permissions. And so the main difference between a contributor and a member is the ability to add other people. Additionally, also to publish and unpublish permissions for an app. And so this is gonna play a part in our test prep question here in a second. So as we look at the main piece of difference between the viewer and the contributor, I wanna point out this one piece right here that's highlighted in red. So publish, create, edit, delete content such as reports in a workspace. So as a contributor role or a member role, you're gonna have the ability to edit the content that is within inside of a workspace. Notice that the viewer role only allows them to do these items down here that are in the blue, essentially viewing and reading the information, creating subscriptions to reports that gives notifications. So really those items are the main detail of what a viewer can do. They can just view information. But as we look at the difference between a viewer versus a member or a contributor, that main difference being publishing, creating, and editing content with inside of a workspace. So now that we have a base understanding of the different roles, once again, admin being the top, then a member, then a contributor, then a viewer. So let's take a look at our test prep question. Our test prep question says that you have a collection of reports for an HR department of your company. The data sets use row level security. The company has multiple sales regions. Each sales region has an HR manager. You need to ensure that the HR managers can interact with the data from their region only. The HR managers must be prevented from changing the layouts of the reports. How should you provision access to the reports for the HR manager? So there's a lot with inside of here, so let's go ahead and break that down with the important pieces of information here. First and foremost is that the data sets use row level security. So row level security is implemented in the Power BI service by assigning users or Azure directory groups to specific columns with inside of a report to limit it. So it says that the company has multiple sales region, and so in this case, this row level security would be implemented on the sales region. Essentially what they would do is take the HR manager email and associate it to a specific region role. It says each region has an HR manager. So we need to make sure that the HR managers can interact with data only from their region. So that's a key piece of information here is that they should only be able to see the data from their region. So they're not gonna be able to access other regions information. The HR managers must be prevented from changing the layouts of the report. This is really the key here to this question. 
So managers must be prevented from changing the layout of the reports. And so that really comes down to a role that's assigned from a security standpoint and how they're going to be able to interact with inside the Power BI service. So option A says publish the reports in an app and grant the HR managers access permission. So access permission is going to mean that this is going to be a viewer role. So access permission means that they're just allowed to access the information, they'll be able to view what's inside of this app. So if you don't know already, a Power BI app is a way to include data sets and reports and dashboards into a central location that multiple people will have access to depending upon who you grant it to through email address or through AD groups. And so think of an app as a way to bundle all of your Power BI items. So once again, this is going to include reports, data sets, dashboards. And so it's going to include all of those things kind of wrapped up into one location. And so with that, you'll be able to grant access to whoever you need. Now, one thing you need to know is that you can only create one app per workspace. So with that, you're only going to be able to grant access to that specific works, workspace, but we also know that the data sets use row level security as well, so that's already implemented based on the sales region. So that's a potential option for us. Option B says create a new workspace, copy the data sets in the reports, add the HR managers as a member of the workspace. Now this is kind of key to understanding this the member role, as we talked about, the member role has the ability to manage content with inside the workspace. And one of our parameters here at the top is that managers must be prevented from changing the layout. So as a member role, they're going to be able to delete objects inside of this workspace. And so option B is not going to be correct because the member role is too high of a privilege for this scenario. Option C says publish the reports to a different workspace other than hosting the data sets. Once again, we're talking about dealing with the ability to assign the roles to the HR manager. If we publish the reports to a different workspace other than hosting the data sets, we're still going to have to give permission. And so this is not going to prevent a proper solution for the HR managers to access that information. So option C would not be correct. Option D says add the HR managers as members of an existing workspace that host the report and data set. Once again, we see that member role. Members are able to add and delete objects with inside of a workspace. And so this is too high of a permission because the managers are not going to be able to change the layout of the reports as it states up here. So our correct answer would be option A, publish the reports to an app and grant the HR managers access permissions. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.